us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help. Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry. But I must get to Drown Dead Rock. As fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But well, the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ha! Ah, I know! All right, in you go and get out of those rags. But all of them? I should think so. It's 
Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'm going! I can look after myself. What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Faster! Faster! They're catching up!
What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him. And stole us. But he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. It's to tell them. My name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs> Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? What... what happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Geralt, I know we should talk. But not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We'd every right to be furious. Furious! And you. You will pay for this. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. 
I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once-in-an-eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Jins are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jin, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. All right. So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this Jin. I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Oh, that would make quick work of the beast. You're very Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I'm not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And the lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. About you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, 
I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. Go look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan drowned figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Wherever the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What will you do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a token fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate... Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A warhorn. Bearing Clan Haymai symbols. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere.
You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I sue Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivade. Silver. Bruin crusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A gin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. 
How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jin to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jins are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Nothing here. Nothing interesting. Interesting. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Wonder what this means. Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the Jinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Ten Jin, Rif Kaishta En Gaya, Kaishta Et Displayer, Devered Me Castle.
Chu. Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity, or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. Do you see the spell that binds us? Only a jinn can remove another jinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yin. And I love you. sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. I think the spirits of Skellige favor us. 